Right folks, very good morning. We're here in a Brotty Ferry station because somebody in the comments a while back said, does Brotty Ferry have a station? And I said, yeah, yeah, we have a station, but it's been updated obviously. And they've got a really nice station now. They've got this little choo-choo train over there, which is actually a plant holder. And uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's just a nice station. Man. They've got a shelter over there and everything, look. Right, there's an alarm going off in the ferry this morning over in the street somewhere. I drove past it. It sounds like it's maybe Gillis's. It's getting louder, man. So I did go and investigate, but the police were actually driving down there. So um, there's a really old building over there. Look at that. Right there, folks. Have a look at this. All right, do not trespass. Okay. Now, the Brotty Ferry Station was quite famous back in the day because it used to have this uh, uh, sort of like a flyover that went over the level crossing there. And it, it was there for ages and ages. And it was like the last one in Scotland or something. And they used to have it just sitting there on the platform. They moved it and they brought it down there. But I don't know what's happened to it. It's obviously gone, but uh, you know, they used to be able to walk over the, uh, the level crossing. But now they've got a... But they've had this underpass been there for ages man anyway so i think that might be the old uh the old station box that was positioned away over at the uh at the oh god what do you call it the level crossing Now, a few years ago, they had to put this uh, corrugated iron platform. It's about a foot off the actual ground off the underpass because it used to flood all the time. It was a real, just a complete gun fest down here. It was absolutely horrible down here. So they had to put this, uh, as you say, this, this iron floor in that. There's a fake floor down there. But there's this underpass here. And up here. Right, here we go. Stood in the level crossing. <laughs> Well, there you go, folks. That is the uh, Brotty Ferry Station. It's a good station. That man's been done up really nicely. Now, folks, this is Raven's Craig Gardens. Private. I've never been here before, man. So I thought I'd just stop down here and have a quick look, see what it's all about. Some lovely flats down here with gorgeous views. Look at that. Fantastic views across to Fife there. With these little sort of trees dotted around, it's absolutely gorgeous down here. Really nice. And they've got this nice embankment that runs down here, runs down there. Look at that. Great, nice place for a picnic on a sunny day, man. Glorious. Look at those trees. Look at those trees, man. Look at that tree. Oh, it's right out there. Wow, fantastic. Right, folks, we've come down here now to look at uh, uh, a rather unusual thing in Dundee. It's right beside the railway here. Nobody knew what it was for a while. And I posted a video ages ago and it got so much interest. From the, it was in the Courier. And uh, yeah, so I got a bit of fame for being in the Courier. And it actually turned out to be what they call a stink pipe. There it is, right down there, folks. A stink pipe. And that's the smell out from the sewers because uh, the sewers actually stink down. They run all the way underneath the railway here. And there was quite a few of them, most of them got knocked down, but this one remains for some reason. It's got a really ornate uh, top and a floor. It is a stink pipe, they call it. So here's a closer look at it, folks. There you go. One okay. night, so there it is, the stink pipe. Folks, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think I zoom in and out too much? You know, because it, does it annoy you when I zoom in and out? Do you go, oh no, there he goes again. So uh, do let me know in the old comments, folks, if you think I zoom in and out too much. Does it annoy you? <laughs> I'm sorry if it does, folks. I do apologize. I can't help myself. I get too excited. Oh, look at that. 
and then I zoom in and zoom out and I, I just you know can't help myself folks sometimes sorry the sun is so bright man it's you know it's really hard to see on this uh this screen what's going on I have to sort of hold my hand on this to, it's so so hard to see now it's a bit of a disaster because the the water in the uh the sco the scoosh has frozen so I put the uh the wipers on and I've, I ain't got no scoosh man so I've just got this mess this muddy mark going across the window screen but it looks a little bit better now than what it was so the scoosh has been frozen it's that cold that's how cold it is we're actually at one degree but it's still cold enough to <laughs> hurt your fingers all right folks i've got my new wallet now i've got it sorted out here so when somebody goes who are you all i have to do take my wallet out flick it and go i'm jag thank you <laughs> right where are we going and what we're we doing well we're gonna go look for this set i'm gonna show you this tiled close and dundee it's quite a, a remarkable sort of place i don't know what it's there for or what it was used for but it's a tiled sort of close it's only about what, 20 yards long or something maybe a little bit longer but uh so i've just parked i know i could probably park in the city in the streets but i thought i'd just go for a little walk so once again we're in dundee folks we're staying local with masks on actually we're wearing masks because our beak's actually freezing is that around the right way Go around the wrong way. There we go. Okay, mate. How are you doing? We say hello to Alan. I'm actually starving, folks. My glass has steamed up. Jeez, I'm starving. I need a coffee and I'm starving. All right, nothing will be open, so I don't know what to do. Dundee is famous for dragons. Yes, we've got the big dragon statue. It's all to do with the, uh, the nine maidens and the guy who went to rescue them. From the dragon so dundee's got quite a good dragon heritage now there's a, an unknown sort of dragon in dundee and it lives on the top of the spire of this church can you see it where is it there it is and it's actually a weather vane a dragon let's have a look closer at it let's have a closer look at it right, there it is now i have to zoom here folks so you can see it look there it is the dragon in full flight there amazing isn't it it is. Now also in Dundee we have the uh, the Statue of Liberty as well on show here and it's just above this cafe here. Here it is here folks. There we go. Statue of Liberty. Hi man. Hi mate. Hello. Above Ify's Cafe and Bistro. So there's a give me some free food man because I'm giving you a free advertising here on Jag Lives. If you cafe and bistro folks, it's open, but I think I think it's only open for deliveries now, isn't it? So you can't even grab a, a roll or anything, man. So all these uh, takeaway places have become delivery places now. So I managed to get a takeaway coffee here at Nero's. Fantastic lifesavers here. I've got a croissant as well, folks. So there it is, Nero's. Cafe Nero, it's called. And uh, they do some awesome coffees, man, and cakes. And stuff so do come along here get your take <laughs> here to be going who's that supposed to be to the shore folks who oh hello who that is supposed to be we don't know it looks like a sheriff kind of person there look at what the flowers have got hanging up here now this used to be the mercantile bar but it's like it closed and then it's now open as the barrelman the late closed for a while for a few months but it looks like it's been open again as a sort of a bistro y kind of place. I just wonder, what's the difference between a bistro and a restaurant, man? I just don't know. This is a great shop, this one, man. Look, this is where you get all your weird dice and things that I like. This is the, uh, what does it call it? The Warhammer. There we go. Look at this. You get all these great figures and things here, man. My mate used to collect these and he had them all painted and had them all set up and he used to change them every week and things. So what a fun, man. What great fun, you said. The figures are actually really well. Well designed, and you know, if you get into it, paint them all. Fantastic! So there is Warhammer. I can't actually remember where this uh, this uh, close is. I think it's, it's up here somewhere, man. We just got a wandering, and we will a strolling, and we will find it. Here's an interesting uh, little street in Dundee. It's the shortest street in Dundee. It's called Chapel Street, and it's only like from here. Right? 
fancy place this one that is. So that's Chapel Street, the shortest street in Dundee. Thank you. And the counting house. Look at this. Counting out the money. The weather spoons, but the heritage of the counting house still stays on. There it is. That is one of these. Uh, these things. Look at these. Right, folks. Now you come across a few of these in Dundee. These uh, things here. They're normally bell-shaped. And uh, what they do is, before the old carriages, when the carriages used to come in a horse and carriage, the carriages sometimes bang into the pillar because the driver wasn't very good. So it would bang into that. And uh, this was to stop the wheels banging onto it there. And uh, so they would knock off the wheels, would come along, bang off that, and go in there rather than banging into the pillar. Well, the police just came past me there, man. So, ooh, no. There's a couple more down here, look. But they're, they're sort of a little bit more modern eyes, those ones there. So. Yeah. Well, I'm lost. I just don't, I can't can't find this tunnel or this. Uh, I don't know where it is. Here's a couple of nice uh, entrance sort of pillars. Got a couple of nice ones there. That one's been knocked out there, but that's the rose. There it is. Uh, goodness me, I'm lost, folks. I'm sure it's up here somewhere. Come on, it's got to be up here. Right, just while we're here, folks. This is the sign. This is the sign. This is the scene of uh, an immense tragedy. One of Dundee's worst tragedies happened right here, folks. There was a concert on, just going on here. And uh, there were so many people here that they started to come down the stairs and they fell. Somebody fell and everybody piled on top of them. So about 20 people died. I can't remember the exact date for it, folks, but uh, this is where the scene of it was. And there's not even a plaque up or anything to tell you about this, the, scene, the, the scene of the disaster where lots of people lost their lives. Uh, there it is, and it's locked up. You can't get down there. Oh, there you go. Just on the corner here. Not even a plaque. No, nothing. No. Oh, hang on. There's something up here. What's this say? What does this say? Let's have a look. It doesn't say anything at all. Hang on. What does that say? Frederick House, the BBC History Project. Hang on. What's oh, that? African American advisor Frederick Douglass spoke here. Okay, he spoke there. Very nice, well done. Right, I'm sure it's just up here, folks. And I think it's just up here, hopefully. Yeah, here it is, man, Irvin Square. Um, now look, you can see the, where the railings used to be. Now the railings, were taken away uh, back in sort of 1945 to help with the war. Um, so they took down all the railings from all the parks and all the, all, all the fences in Dundee, all the iron fences were taken away, chopped down and uh, given away to the war effort to help melt down from munitions and all sorts of things. Right, anyway, I digress. This is Irvine Square, which is, it's like a, a leading to Victorian toilet. It's got all these tiles and these tiles are fantastic, man. As I said, it's only about 20 feet long, and that's it, there it is, that is it. That's what we came up with, all the way for, folks. This tire sits just tiled all the way up. I'm not actually sure what, this, what, what it leads to, or what it used to lead to, I don't know. We could get a good spare, sp <coughs> excuse me, spares, 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 spares. Yeah, a bit, uh, not too happy with that, but yeah, there we go, look. I don't know. Where did this come out to? This tree just sitting there, look at it. I'm ready to fall over, isn't it? But it still stands. Let's look. Right now, to finish this tour of Dundee, man, we'll come up to Dundee's Leaning Tower of Peter. It's up this way here. Right, here it is then, folks. This is the Chamber of Commerce now. Back in the day when they were building it, 
this was a, a big boggy meadow by the way this was uh, full of just water and um, just marshland really it was just marshland all here so goodness knows why they chose to build here they built the McManus galleries that, that took a while to sort out and get that uh, all sorted but this bit here this tower actually leans over because when they were building it it kept on leaning and leaning when they were trying to get it up and uh, <laughs> And they had to put so much wood and foundations down there, it kept on leaning and leaning. They eventually made it sort of stable, but over the years, it has, in fact, tilted. You can see it compared to the building there. It's uh, tilting over and it leans at an angle similar to uh, the Tower of Pisa. So it says in, uh, in, in the book, there it is. You can't really tell from here, but looking up at, at uh, when you're here live, it definitely does seem to tilt but not as much as Pisa I think goodness me yeah there it is you definitely see a leaning from this angle it does lean yeah there it goes Sure, that's for. That's above this uh, this building here. Look at the the Doric columns. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm not sure what this building used to be, folks. But the Doric columns, they're quite a, a common feature in Dundee. You've got them at the the, the Caird Hall and all the other buildings. They all seem to have these what they call Doric, very really popular sort of these columns. Yeah, they call them Doric. There you go. The shells. Okay, right, folks, now up here somewhere, there used to be a plaque for the last resident vacated from a tower. Here it is, here, look, there it is. It's quite faded, quite hard to see. There we go, look, Wendy's last story. So, this is up in this bit in Dundee here, this little curved bit before the the bus stop there's a plaque here it's hidden away nobody ever really sees it because it's quite uh, see-through wendy's last story wendy was the last resident to vacate wellington tower where she lived on the top floor there it is then fantastic so that's uh, september 2011 there it is look at that screwed into the wall so it's still here the plaque excellent there you go there's the plaque wendy's last story I'm not actually sure where Wellington Tower was. I'm actually sure where Wellington Tower was, folks. Uh, I think it might have been just sort of behind here. I'm sure there was a couple of blocks of flats. It's not far from where Bro used to live. Bro used to live just over there. Uh, uh, on the, on, the, on the, the middle, the bottom floor, the third floor down there, that's where Bro lived back in the day, but uh, just beside the plaque here. So Wellington Tower would have just been over there, I think, when they made way for these, these new... Uh, there's new buildings over there. So an old story there, fantastic. Part of Dundee's history, just hidden away right here. And millions of people go, or millions, thousands, mill past this place every day and nobody even notices it's here. My folks are here and the will get sent up. I'm actually trapped. I don't know if we can get out. Oh, hang on, get down these. Uh, we'll get down. Oh no, look, this area is closed. Oh, oh no, can I still get down? Oh yeah, it's going down. We're okay, we'll get out this way. Make this area is terribly close, but we'll get down here. Right, folks, well, the day over. That's it. Well, it's not over, it's only half past one, but that's me finished my day. So, thank you so much, folks, for watching the video. I do appreciate all the comments. Thank you so much. And do give me a like and a subscribe. And somebody's giving me a, a thumbs down all the time. There's always one dislike on the video. I don't know, is it bro? I bet it's bro going, oh, I don't like bro's video. So anyway, but give bro, give him a check as well. Solo bro, he's got uh, some fantastic videos. He's he's keeping the lockdown scenario going. He's always out and about, man. So check him out as well. So thank you so much as always, folks. Hope you enjoyed that little trip into Brighton Ferry. Look at the station and that. And then a little sojourn up to Dundee to look at some of the hidden gems. I love all those hidden gems, man. There's loads of them around. So hopefully we'll, we'll find some more next time around about. So once again, thank you, folks. And I shall see you on the flip side. Yeah.
that's the flip side, yeah. Right. I've got that, I've got that wrong. Hang the on, we'll again. Knocking them down and this might just fall down. Right. Right. Anyway, oh, that's just crap, isn't it? Right. Anyway, oh, that's just crap, isn't it? Right. Anyway, oh, that's just crap, isn't it?